Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Building. Ha ha! Oh gosh. The building with B double O. It's so great to see you and it's so great to have you back. If you missed last episode or if you're brand new here, last episode we worked on some really cool stuff out in our Japanese area. We made a horse stable and we messed with uh, some of the new villager trading, which is really, really fun. There we go. Okay. Oh. Hey! Am I dying? I'm dying. Oh, climb. Don't die. So, you can go in here if you want. You can go in here. I mean, this is a real nice place. I put... Uh, look, 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 look. I got a leather... Bleh. Slam the door on me, would you? Also, last episode, we ended up in this spawn village area and I had mentioned that we were going to renovate a building out here uh, I did I maybe said next episode but I meant uh, it, uh, an episode down the road because I'm recording a little bit ahead of time and need to kind of get your wait to get your feedback on that before I get started on that so I'll be checking the comments as soon as I get it we'll hit it up but we're coming over here today to our jungle area by the way if you're brand new here hit subscribe Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to get notifications every time I upload. It'll keep it so you don't miss another episode. Get your building game up. I'm going to teach you everything I know. That's the goal of this series. But anyway, we're out here in this jungle area. Let's see. I'm going to leash this horse up. I'm going to leash him up by a fence. And we'll see if he stays. It's really rare that these horses stay nowadays. Where'd you go? Hey! Again? Horsey! What you vanish on me for? Hello? I know he's here somewhere. I can hear him. I can hear him. He's right here. I'm just gonna leash him. And then there. Here. Let me hear- I'm gonna do this by sound. I'm gonna do this by sound. I'm gonna- I'm gonna hear him. I'm gonna leash him. And then c connect him to the fence. Watch. Watch. Make a sound, horse. Make a sound. Daha! You're over here! Okay? I got him. Nothing. I got him. I got him. Nothing. Where'd you go, horse? Aha! There you are. I got you. Okay. Here we go. Nothing. Ah. Okay. Gonna have to relog. All the way up there. I wasn't even close. Okay. Come on. Come on. Climb five. Come on down. Come on down. I'm gonna trust the lead. I'm gonna trust that it's not going to let you loose. Don't you move, Hossie. I'll be back shortly. So we're out here in the jungle. Why are we in the jungle? Not to build. We're out here for a different reason. I'm going to hit F3 to confirm. Aha. Biome Minecraft jungle confirmed. Okay. We're going to do a little fishing out here. Whoop. There we go. Ooh, there's a sound for fishing. That's fun. We're going to fish and not with a good rod. Aha. That's exactly what I wanted. Junk. Junk. Leather is considered junk, I think. Uh, we need a junk item, and that is bamboo. This world is very, very old. It's a super old world, and there's no bamboo. I'm going to have to go quite a long ways to find a jungle that's going to give me bamboo. But if I fish, I can get it. Puffer fish, that's not necessarily it. But if I have a terrible fishing rod, that's going to be perfect for me. I'm going to be able to get a junk item. Hopefully bamboo. But today, we're going to be going out to the desert. And we're going to work on... I need to make uh, a starter house. A, a Minecraft starter house. And I've got an idea that I think is perfect for Minecraft starter houses. That area is not a jungle. I went out there. That's a river. That's a river biome out there. So, out here, this is jungle. So I'm just going to make some water in here and fish in this little hole. Unfortunately, I can't see the particles coming. I just have to... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. All right. It's going to work out. We just have to keep a close eye on it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. A name tag. That's treasure. I uh, Not working out so well. Not working out so well at all. It's been quite a while that I've been fishing. Is my horse still leaded up? I've got an idea. I've been thinking. Oh, good. It didn't break. That's nice. That's happy. All right. Let's go over here. Now this is a secret, but I've got an AFK fishing farm over here. We don't tell anybody about it, okay? But it's hidden away, and I think I probably... Where is it? Aha, right in here, right in here. Okay, I think I probably... Oh, look at all this. 
Lure 3. Curse of Vanishing is fine. Look at all these saddles as well. I'm breaking, like, excuse me, horse, relax. Chill, relax. Lure 3 is huge. I don't want luck of the sea. Lure 3, I'm breaking. That's the one. Okay, what happened? Oh, there's more in there? Okay, um, um, we'll get rid of this water bottle. Mending lure two unbreaking. That's pretty good too. Okay, we'll bring those boys over and we'll give those a shot. Lure is going to help speed this process up. Uh, it's going very, very slowly. And some lure and unbreaking is going to make it go a little bit better. There you go. And stay. Don't move. All right. I hear something. I'm fishing, but I hear something. I hear a villager. Hello? Where do I hear a villager? Oh no! Oh no! Bad guys? Bad guys? Hey guys! Come on down! Yeah! Do not mess with me, I'm busy fishing like a maniac right now! Come on down! That's right. Holy cow, what were they doing here? This is a sacred place! Okay, well, we're having a hard time. We're having a really, really hard time with the- Ah! Hey, 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 hey! 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 Listen! Hey! What am I, all surrounded? What is this? Get, get, down, get out of here! I'm trying my heart out. What? No- Uh-oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! Why do they do that? This is not a village? Oh boy, this episode's taking quite a turn, huh? What? What? He made a creeper sound? What are we doing? What is this? Oh man, my whole my whole system might be screwed. I need to sleep, but is it going to let me sleep? Okay, it's going to let me sleep. Good, 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 good. Okay. I would like to just ignore him. I would like to just have him ignore me and me ignore him. That would be the best case scenario. If I can just fish in peace without dealing, I shouldn't have touched those other guys. I should have just left them. But this fishing, holy smokes, this is not the way. We maybe should have gone on an adventure, huh? And looked for for a uh, new jungle. I just thought that that would take forever. But our chances, I looked them up, 10% chance of getting a, a junk item. And then after that, a 10% chance of getting bamboo. So it's not looking good. Oh, that scared me so bad. Hi. Okay, hi. All right, you're good. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. I'm going to get that, actually. I'm going to get that. Do you have bamboo? I'm desperate. Okay, fire coral block. I know I know. this seems like a waste of emeralds, but I, I really want that. Uh, I, the, okay, hi. Okay, leave. Leave. You're gonna- you're very loud, and there's a, a raid guy over there, so please- yes, okay, good, gone. Uh, that's a good decorative block, and it's- I'm gonna have a hard time finding coral around here, so that's perfect. Thanks for swinging by. I got it! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, <laughs> I got it! You idiot! You bumped me! You bumped me all day! You don't stop bumping me! I did it! I can do it! I did it! I did it all by myself. I per was persistent. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. You bump me ever again. I tell you what, I can't handle it. He was bumping, 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 bumping nonstop. I can't, I'm so sick. I want, I'm sick. I'm sick of you and your llama bump me into the water. Make me have to build bigger place. Okay, okay, okay. This is so good. Oh, guys, you don't understand. <laughs> You don't understand how long that took. Put that fishing pole in there. We'll probably never need it again. I just needed junk. The chances of getting that junk were so small. And finally, we've got it. Now, now, climb five, five, fifth, climb the fifth. It's off. We didn't have to mess with that banner, Illager. It's all over with. We're headed off to the desert, the beautiful land of Escher. Come on, climb. Come on. It's time. We're almost there. It's sunset. And ooh, is it looking nice around here. I can't. I'm so happy to be back. But we're going to have so, a rude awakening. Wait till that renders in. Just wait. Go ahead. Render in.
I know you want to. Hello? Nothing? Not in the sunset? Hello? There it is. Ooh, baby. That's so cool and pretty. I love that. Oh, it just keeps going. There's another horsey out here. I forget, where did I used to sleep out here? Yeah, rude awakening this area. Where do I sleep here? Uh-oh. Is it this house? Do I sleep in here? No, I don't sleep in there. Gotta be this one. Yeah, here we go. So this is the beautiful land of Escher. Now we built this quite a long time ago and we built this with some major resource pack changes uh, set to it. Let's try to hook you up here and yoink, oops, and ha, there we go. The major resource pack thing, the, the, the red sandstone, we used that in here, but we had it a different color. The end stone, we used that in here. We had that a different color. There are some things that look a little bit funny but overall, the place looks awesome. I really love it out here. Today, though, this is going to take some renovating. Oh, all, all throughout, we're going to have to renovate this a lot. But we're going to go outside of the city gates. And man, I got to get some villagers in here. I think this is going to be awesome with some villagers. Also, the smooth sandstone, uh, I used that. Well, this was smooth sandstone. This is called like chiseled now or something. I used to use that uh, as like a brick texture. But now it looks a little funny. Uh, we're going to work on the outskirts of this city. So every big city. Hey, why? Why? Why you? This daytime outside. Uh, this is a walled city. There's a wall all the way around. But on the outside of this wall, I want to have some smaller houses. And I want to have them all over the place almost like a district nine sort of feel where it's just covered in them but first let's plant that bad boy yes we're in business we have scaffolding if you didn't know that's what i wanted the bamboo for scaffolding because that's a really cool block it works out really well for a lot of things it's nice for building of course but uh, it's so good to have now are you ready to get building Let's go. Follow along closely because we're going to do this like a tutorial so you can do it as well. One, two, three for the corner. We're also going to strip all of those logs. We're using oak. Five blocks away. We're going to do that again. Now seven blocks away. We're going to do the same thing. Three blocks high. Boom, boom, boom. Strip. Then finish the rectangle out. That's your perfect rectangle. It's perfectly fine. We don't want anything super special here. Fill the entire bottom row with smooth sandstone. The next two rows to the top of the log fill in with oak wood pranks. Do you look like this? If so, you're doing great. Now, for the side that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, we're going to build up, and this is going to be our eaves edge. So half slab, half slab, right next to the oak, and then full, 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 and half slab on top. Do that for the other side as well. Now we're looking a little something like this. Come to the bottom side of this log right on this corner here and do a brown, a dark oak, dark spruce, a dark brown spruce slab, uh, dark brown spruce slab, dark uh, spruce slab. Do that for the other side and then follow your line. Follow your line and just do it. Uh, the dark brown spruce, uh, do. Now you're looking a little something like this. Then come in one and do one right there. Same, same, uh, just on the other side and then half step it up all the way across like so, boom. Then you get a little bit of a detail on that edge, that eaves edge. We're gonna do that on the other side again. Corner, half, half, half step. Whoops, not foot, not flame. <laughs> half step across and whoops. And flawless. Now this is your prerogative, but I'd prefer to knock out this second row of oak right here and, and fill and fill this in with a spruce. Now you have a pretty basic house shape. What I like to do next is knock out a door. You're going to need that at some point, right? Then some window spots, but we don't do windows first here. We do windows later. This is what separates the good builders from the bad builders, or the mediocre builders, I should say. This is when you start putting major, major detail into it. This wall, for example, 
plain. It's plain. So let's mess it up a little bit. Let's kind of think about how how is that exactly? Maybe this kind of is like stucco and it's coming up onto the wood a little bit. And maybe it's old stucco. So in some spots, it's a little cracked and you see a little bit of damage on it. Same goes for the roof. Why not? pop in a little bit of texture into it. Just throw a couple of slabs. Even those two do a whole lot. Trap doors are also a great way to add some detail. So frame the door a little bit, maybe put one on top of the log, just add them every once in a while. And once we get our windows in, hello, once we get our windows in, we can kind of use them to frame that as well. Like so, if we were to put it right here, a window, boom. But to give a build like this character, I don't like using the doors. I like using these special little banners and you pop one right here. Whoops. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. I forgot. We need to put a, a trapador right there and then boom and see how that looks. That's really cool. Look, that's kind of nice. It definitely blocks the entryway and then you can still walk through it perfectly fine. Now inside, this is why we didn't do windows first because this is such a small house. We're going to do something and we're going to add a bunch of space in here just by lowering the floor. Now, all of a sudden, the place starts to feel really big. This is for your entrance up to you. You can either use a stair as your walkway down and in, or you can use a slab. Now, we've got this bottom row of dirt or it would be sand or whatever it is for you. Why didn't that disappear? Uh, they, let's replace all this with just regular old sandstone. Again, be my guest, find a little design and make, bring in a little bit of the smooth down there. Whoops, not you there. No, now it's time to interior design. And this is a long drawn out process. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of lay out. All right. I want a wall or a room right here. And then we kind of figure out what we want to do from there. You definitely don't want it to be one huge place, but I like to use dirt sometimes to just kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like. But let me get this interior design worked out and then we'll explain it. So this is probably the most interesting part of the build, the part that everybody wants to know about. How do you detail something? And this is detailed now. This is, I've detailed this out, and, but it's just hard to explain. It's a lot of going through, you have to go through and you have to really think about how can I fill this space? How can I fill this block? This is that red. Uh, I don't know if we're going to leave this here, but this is looking nice. This looks like some berries down here. I really like that. Uh, but how do you fill each space? This is a little, just a small bedroom, a little cot on the floor, nothing super special or interesting. I wish we had some. Uh, this is a, a, a item frame with an oak stripped oak log inside with a candle on it with a, a torch just put on the block on the side like that. Not in the frame, but out on the side. Super simple, super easy. No campfire underneath some magma. Here's an what's that's scary. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, a nice little uh, hidden feature inside of this house. This is a fun secret. Uh, boom furnace back there. Behind all that smoke, you get that smoke coming out on that pot and you right click on it and you get a furnace. But yeah, campfires underneath magma blocks, it goes through. I was lucky enough to find some magma blocks out in the city. I got tons of stuff out here that I had no idea I had. But let's grab some of these. Let's grab one, two, three. Is that 12? No, I just need six, I think. Just six will be fine. All right, let's do that. That I need, oops, I need string. And these make amazing, if you put them on a half slab, these make amazing chairs. I love this scaffolding. Look at this, half slab, boom, boom. Now I've tested and I've tried. Let's put a little carpet on top of that for funsies as well. Uh, that looks nice. I like that, that's cool. That's a cool looking little table situation there. Not great, not the best in the world, but you get the idea when you see it. I've tried and tried and tried. You can push blocks into other blocks with pistons, you know, but you can't do it with scaffolding as far as I know. If you figure it out, if you're a genius and you can figure that out, show me. Send it to me on social media, Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see. Can you get a half slab inside of a scaffolding without armor stand stuff and whatnot? This is just like a little partition wall here is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, 
I think this looks really cool inside. This doesn't take much time to do either. I put a little more effort into it because I'm treating it like a starter house. This is a starter house for you and you want to get on your server and you want to impress people. The other reason why we didn't do windows first, you don't go through and poke out windows from the outside. You go inside and figure out where can I have a window? Here, 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 centered on the table. You put all your stuff in first and then poke your windows out on the outside. And then you you get, you know, this worked out perfectly. It's centered. You know, this one's off to the side a little bit, but that's okay. It still looks good. This one here, and we get one on the back side. This is not too detailed back here, but you get the idea. Um, these, the rest of these, did I make a sound when I hit that? Ooh, this area out here, I'm not going to put this much detail into every single one of these houses, but I'm going to fill this place with houses like that. Tons of them all along the outskirts of this city. And when we get that done, it's going to look super, super cool. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice, covered in bamboo, I love it. Oh, baby, look at all this. On the rooftops even, so happy. But this is going to be a super cool area. I've got it all figured out. I built out a lot more. One, two, three, four, five, five or six houses. But uh, I've got, I gotta call, call it quits here because it's gonna just take me forever. Uh, but I've worked out a little bit of a path. We've got this path coming into the area, and then it leads into the city, like so. But then we can branch off. And if we follow the path this way just a little while, it goes off for just a bit. But off in the distance, you can see we've got our salt pans area, or our salt uh, plains, salt, whatever those things are called, those little honeycomb-shaped things. There's a beautiful ship over there as well. Whew, that's looking nice. Uh, but this area, man, man, it's going to be nice. These little houses, I think we're going to swap these out for the new style that we're working on. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool spot. I really like this. It's awesome. A little salt. Looks like uh, they're, 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 their main export is salt. So very cool. But anyway, uh, we're going to leave this area and we're going to head off to another area and get started on something for our next episode. But before we do, we're going to don our hossy with some gold armor. That's beautiful. You deserve it. You've done a, jo a good job today. Been working very hard. Off we go to the city, the land of Eden. How did I just make it through all that? That was impressive. Man, this is a fast horse. But you get a little look at uh, this little keep I built. You get a little look at the cobblestone texture. Eh, or not the cobbles though, the brick texture. I like it. I think it looks really cool. People complaining it's a little messy and a little busy, but that's my style. That's what I like. I think it looks gorgeous. This is something we're going to talk about in a later episode, but I can't, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have paths Paths that lead you from one place to the next. They help the immersion so much. The fact that I could ride this horse, and it is a long trip, this horse all the way from that air, the desert area through the spawn area over to here. It's so long. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys, huh? This is our little uh, hobbit village, and uh, they look... Ooh, actually, you're a leather worker, aren't you? Or no, you're a blacksmith. What, you don't want to trade with me? You're not interested in a trade? Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We don't have to trade, that's weird though. Uh, but we are just, we just passed this place. I think there used to be an iron golem here, but uh, we go through here and the road starts to turn a little cobbly and we start to get into a little darker area and we start to see the land of Eden. Unfortunately, it is a gross, disgusting place, but uh, I love the immersion out here. Oh, it's good. So, here's the thing with this area. It's gorgeous, but it was built with black nether brick. I had ne black nether brick out here. Wow, this is awesome. Oh my goodness, I love it here. Hold on, let's go to sleep real quick. Excuse me, climb five. I love this place. I gotta tell you, it is awesome. It's a swamp area, right? 
It's a swamp area. It's supposed to feel broken down and beat up. Oh! Oh! The bubbles from the soul sand. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Over here is supposed to be smoldering. Yeah, it's smoldering a little bit, but we could put campfires under there. That could be really cool. I gotta tell you, this nether brick, the purplish color, I ain't hating it. It's not killing me. It's not killing me. This, I stripped right from Grianne. I stole it. <laughs> and then we did like a submersive fog idea here. I think this looks so cool in an effort to get over to the castle. I love this. This spot. This spot, you guys. And the, I mean, the paths are just beat up. The, this is when you put, put a story behind something. You really, really get some cool stuff. There's a slime factory or a slime goo drink or something. Uh, it's so cool. Oh, man. I forgot how much this area was awesome. And look at the huge terrain dip right here. How the terrain goes way down for no reason. But it doesn't matter. This used to be flat over here. We'll bring it way down. I even hollowed all this out, I think. We did that in an effort to really give you a feeling out here. And boy, do I feel it. I really feel it. Are you still up there, zombie zombie man? He sure is. Yes, he is. He's in a cage, captured. This is a very Dark Souls-inspired area. Um, I should turn back on. I used to have something that would make the sky green in, the, in here. But uh, it's very cool. All right, we can just walk across this. But it's also jumpable. You can make this jump. Let's try. Yeah, we got it. Great. Um, but... The castle's awesome. We'll go in there next episode, though, uh, and take a little better look at that. What we're going to do out here is we need to work on a gate. This is a wide open area. And obviously, we've got, you know, these illagers running around doing their thing. And if we can create some sort of gate, now they could spawn right inside the village, of course. But if they can get them to spawn outside, if we got a gate, that can block them off. That can be really good. So next episode, we're going to work on a gate, a themed gate for this area. I love this style. Oh, I'm so happy too. This was andesite, which was dark. I had it like a dark cobblestone, but it still looks really good in here. I'm very happy with how that that's coming out. The only thing that's throwing me a little bit is the nether brick, but it's okay. It's okay how it is. So here's kind of a gate, right? with a couple of towers on the side, but we want to do something uh, that's going to wrap around and, and look a little bit nicer than, than just this. But guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much. If you're here for the premiere, hi, it's good to see you. 5 p.m. EST, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I love live chatting with you guys. Let's do it again on Friday, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like for me if you enjoyed. I'd very much appreciate it. We'll see you in the next episode.